Today, with a range of emotions, I'm sharing with you some information about me and my career with CTV News. For 35 years, I have had the privilege of being welcomed into your homes to deliver the news on a nightly basis, so I felt you should hear this directly from me. On June 29th, I was informed that Bell Media made a, quote, business decision to end my contract, bringing to a sudden close my long career with CTV News. I was blindsided and I'm still shocked and saddened by Bell Media's decision. I was also asked to keep this confidential from my colleagues and the public until the specifics of my exit could be resolved. That has now happened and, and I want you to know what these last 35 years have meant to me. Everything, reporting on the darkest days of war from Iraq, Afghanistan and this year Ukraine to covering natural disasters, this pandemic, federal elections, amazing Olympic moments and so many other consequential events, including this summer's papal apology to residential school survivors. I need you to know that this is a trust I have never taken for granted as a reporter and as an anchor. I am forever grateful to you, such loyal viewers, for sharing in the belief that news delivered with integrity and truth strengthens our democracy. At 58, I, I still thought I'd have a lot more time to tell more of the stories that impact our daily lives. Instead, I leave CTV humbled by the people who put their faith in me to tell their story. I guess this is my sign off from CTV, so I want to express my deepest gratitude to all of you, to my incredible colleagues for their unwavering support, my dear friends and my loving family. While it is crushing to be leaving CTV National News in a manner that is not my choice, please know reporting to you has truly been the greatest honor of my life and I thank you for always being there. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.